It's the Full Force News Burst Extra, brought to you by GeneralsJoesReborn.com, with me, Christopher McLeod, aka Diagnostic80. The first images of classified Falcon have emerged, and they are interesting. Shout out to Rene Castro for this one, but the first in hand images have appeared of the upcoming G.I. Joe classified series Vincent R. Falcon Falcone. And they are, well, not great. As a few people had noticed when the figure was revealed during PulseCon last year, Falcon's head sculpt did seem a little off, but seeing the figure in hand now is really disappointing. Considering the response to the images, I can't see good things for this particular figure going forward. I think a lot of fans expected there to be something done in the production process, but it doesn't look like anything has been changed, for the better at least. The images show the figure in his box with the beret off and with the beret on, and they don't do him any favours. It's a shame when you think about just how popular a character Falcon is and the incredibly high level of work on literally every other figure so far. It could be the quality of the images with lighting etc that's making the deco look a little muddy, so I'll hold off to see how that turns out in hand with my own eyeballs, but it's not looking positive unfortunately. I don't think there's any saving that head sculpt and that is the saddest part really. Hopefully he looks better when seen up close, but that's all I can say at this point. As I mentioned before, the line is of such a high standard that any slight imperfection or issue gets magnified based on the quality of the figures we've had so far, but it genuinely pains me to say that this one just doesn't come close. The rest of the figure heavily utilises a lot of Recondo, which is not a bad thing, but that deco is pulling it down again for me. I genuinely hope that it's the lighting. Another point that it brings up is the fact that Falcon does appear in a number of sub-teams including Night Force, Slaughter's Marauders, or Mad Marauders now, and the Supersonic Fighter so either we get this abomination of a head again, or they can update him for that release. I will be praying very hard for the latter. Anyway, what do you guys think? Is it worth me even asking when I already know the answer? Did you have a nice day despite this anyway? Should we all just chill out and enjoy all of the other great figures we've had? Yeah, I'm going to do that. Let me know in the comments below. Okay team, I'll be back with another classified deep dive for Steel Core very soon as well as more news, so keep it locked, stay fresh cheese bags, and as always, full force. Or sort of a medium force right now. That's it for this instalment of the Full Force News Burst Extra. Thank you for watching, make sure to like, comment and subscribe. See you next time, and as always, Full Force. Make sure you get involved with the discussion by liking, sharing and commenting on these videos and as always you can keep up with the show after listening by following on Twitter at The Full Force, liking the Facebook page facebook.com forward slash The Full Force and if you would like to contact the show you can message us on either of those platforms with feedback and questions. We also have a Patreon page so if you want to show your support for the show, see your name up in lights on these videos or enjoy exclusive bonus content then check out patreon.com forward slash the full force podcast or click on the link on any of the posts this podcast appears in full force